Hello everyone, this is Media Magpie Kapow, and today I'm going to talk about an animal writing and presentation practice activity that I do with my class and um, I think you'll find that it's a good activity for uh, those people who are just learning how to write paragraphs and perhaps get into a bit of mathematical information or scientific information regarding animals. So in the first week or two of term, um, my class, I, I usually do this with my class, and um, as a writing and presentation activity. Uh, what I do is I normally model the, a um, paragraph about a koala and then we go through that, take it all to bits, and then we have a look at two other Australian animals, um, and or the uh, kiwi, which is not an Australian animal, it's a New Zealand animal, um, and then we, I give them notes about those animals, and they write an, another paragraph. So this activity is usually completed in class with a teacher who has explained the basics about paragraph structure. I'll mention more about paragraph structure in another video that I'll do later. Okay, so the idea is to write two or three paragraphs about an animal and um, based on the models that are provided and that each student will choose their own animal. Each student should choose a different animal um, and make sure that you go through the class and record which animal each student is doing just to make sure that they're all doing a different topic so that they are uh, pretty much made to uh, do it themselves and not copy from each other. Okay, so just to quickly review paragraph writing, a paragraph consists of several sentences that are grouped together uh, for this activity, a paragraph might be between three and seven sentences, with five being the normal amount. Um, certainly in other forms of writing, paragraphs can be different sizes. A paragraph basically consists of three layers, the topic sentence, supporting sentences, and the concluding sentence. So paragraphs are often uh, compared to hamburgers or sandwiches, you'll notice that I've got an Australian Aussie burger here, we've got the beetroot on it, and we've got the pineapple. So the top bun is usually compared to the topic sentence, and I'll talk more about topic sentences in another video. The middle is all of the uh, supporting sentences, sometimes these have different names. Uh, depending on who you're talking to, but basically um, they are can be called supporting sentences or details or describing sentences. Sometimes the second sentence is called a describing sentence and the other ones are all called supporting sentences. I don't want to confuse the uh, students too much, so for, for the purpose of this activity we'll just call everything in the middle a supporting sentence. And the bottom bun is called the concluding sentence. Okay, so you can also sort of make a, a comparison between the paragraph and an essay or, or report. So a paragraph is kind of like an, a mini essay. So in an essay or report, you might you'll have an introduction, you'll have the body paragraphs, and you'll have a conclusion. In a paragraph, you have the topic sentence, which is basically the introduction, introduces the topic. You'll have the supporting sentences and the concluding sentence. So I'll explain more about this later, but basically the topic sentence's job is to introduce the topic of the paragraph. Okay, then the concluding sentence is about finishing off the the thought of the topic and in some cases leading on to the next paragraph. 
for the purposes of this activity we don't want to get too complicated so you don't have to lead on to the next paragraph if um, if that is too difficult but if you want to have a go at it you're more than welcome to okay so here's an example paragraph about a koala so the koala is a small Australian marsupial that lives in trees it has thick thick grey fur that should be thick that can be brownish in places and fluffy ears adults typically weigh 9 kilograms although southern koalas are usually larger than northern ones they have very good hearing and an excellent sense of smell which helps them find food they also have strong forearms and long claws to help them climb trees okay so the activity that we're going to do is to go back through the previous paragraph and identify the topic sentence supporting sentences and the concluding sentence okay so so obviously the first sentence here is the topic sentence the last sentence is the concluding sentence and all of those in the middle are the supporting sentences and once again sorry about that um, spelling mistake there okay next notice how the concluding sentence mentions the koala being a good being good at climbing trees okay so in a typical uh, report about it, an animal the next paragraph might be about the koala's diet and habitat so you, can you see how the concluding sentence might lead on to this so we're talking about it's uh, we've talk, talked about food and then now then we're going on to climbing trees so we're sort of getting into diet and habitat all right so now we're going to use these notes here um, to write a paragraph about the quoll. So the quoll is a native cat. And you can see it's a marsupial. This, these are things that um, describe what it looks like. Some other information here. Now you can go back and use this paragraph about the koala as a model and try that so um, if this teacher wanted to they could pause the video right now and get the students to um, write that paragraph or um, if you are studying this by yourself at home you can pause this video and, and write that paragraph otherwise um, you know feel free to keep going and also if you do write the paragraph feel free to post it in the comments below this video I'd love to read them. Okay, so now what I normally do with my students is it's their turn after we've after we've done that. When I'm using a textbook, I usually have them write a couple of practice paragraphs, one about the Kiwi, um, one about the Quokka. Um, so we're going but I get them all to choose an animal that they're interested in. And um, if they have problems with that, I might help them out. Um, you know, give them an idea, give them some ideas. So, do they want a cute animal like the fairy penguin or bilby? Uh, do they want a domestic animal? Some of them want to do sheep and horses. If they do do that, I try to get them in to go for wild horses or something like that, make it a bit more interesting. Some of them want to go for endangered animals like rhinoceroses. Um, and uh, some of them want to go for animals of cultural importance, for example, the giant panda or, or whatever. So, once they've chosen their animal, they should tell the teacher just to make sure that no one's doing the same, same animal, and then go and research it and prepare to write two paragraphs about that animal, which is approximately a hundred words. Uh, remembering when they're writing their paragraphs to include a topic sentence supporting sentence and a concluding sentence in each paragraph and that they will need to print out the source of their information this source cannot be from wikipedia you can see my previous videos about not using wikipedia because it's not a reliable source they should try to find some 
web page of a from a veterinarian or a zoo or some other animal professional maybe a, some sort of charity to do with that that animal and then they can um, uh, find a good source and get the information from it okay so once they've done that writing we're going to do uh, presentation practice as well and that involves uh, doing some speaking activity in front of the class and they will perform a short one to two minute presentation on that animal so uh, that presentate so once they have their two paragraphs two or three paragraphs they'll add another short paragraph which is an introduction for their presentation during that presentation they'll introduce themselves introduce their topic explain why they chose that animal then they should also find a picture of that animal chances are they already have one when they found their source and then they'll add a short conclusion summarizing the main points of the presentation and that can be done next week in class okay so in conclu conclusion you've seen that we've got this activity about animals we've reviewed the paragraph structure and you can check out my other videos on this topic uh, if you want to review that uh, we've analyzed a paragraph about a koala we've got some writing practice about a paragraph with quolls and we've got some activities, a writing activity and a presentation activity to do about another animal of the student's choice. Okay, here are my uh, references and some uh, links to further reading if you'd like to write, read more about paragraph structure. And here is some of the images that I've used, especially for the Aussie burger. All right, so if you've liked this video, please feel free to. Uh, press like and if you'd like to um, ask any questions or submit any of your own writing feel free to add it in the comments below if you want me to cover any other topics please feel free to ask in the comments below and if you'd like to keep in touch with any other future videos feel free to subscribe to this website thanks for listening and I will talk to you next time see ya